beef, meat, spinach, spinach, meat, beef. Now I know you two don't always get along, but today you guys are going to team up to make something absolutely delicious and nutritious for your dogs. And yes, today we are cooking beef and spinach. Beef and spinach is a great combination. I like to cook for dogs. Um, it comes together really quick. Uh, all it takes is about 10 minutes and a pan, and you will be golden. Uh, I really like to cook beef and spinach for dogs because it's easy to add to just about any dog food, whether you're using kibble or a wet canned dog food. Just add it in, and they're going to get a lot of nutrients and a lot of protein and uh, good minerals like iron. So before we get cooking, let's talk about the ingredients for a second. Starting with the beef, uh, what we're using here is basic ground beef, and this is what's called 80% lean, 20% fat. All that means is that, uh, you can probably guess, 80% of the meat in this is considered lean and 20% is considered fattier. You will see different kinds in the store. You might see 93% lean, 7% fat, 90% uh, lean, 10% fat. They come in different ratios. And it's not rocket science. If you are looking to maybe keep your dogs a little leaner and you don't want as much fat, go with something with less fat. Now, I chose this on purpose because one of our dogs is, is older and he is actually getting a little bit lean in his years. So we're going to do a little paradox and have more fat to help him get less lean. Get it? Now as for the uh, spinach, this is just basic uh, fresh spinach leaves. Um, if you don't have fresh spinach, you can use canned, you can use frozen, basically any spinach you have. I like using fresh just because it's, well, fresh. Um, but again, you can use whatever you have on hand. Now if you do choose to use frozen spinach, uh, I would suggest kind of thawing that out before you add it to the dish. That's going to help everything kind of cook a little bit quicker and it won't uh, suffocate all that heat. But this is fresh and we're going to show you how to do it. Finally, let's talk about the pan. As I've said, this dish comes together really quick. We're talking like 10 minutes or less. What I'm using here is a basic 3 quart 10 inch pan. What do we have that's going to cook, let's say, about a pound or two of beef? This is going to be fine, so if you have, like, again, a 10-inch skillet, a 12-inch skillet, that's going to be best for this. And what I like about this meal is that it's all it takes is one pan. We're going to cook the beef and the spinach together in one pan, and now I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, just like last week's recipe of chicken livers, we're going to heat the pan first. We're going to heat it for, let's say, 30 seconds or a minute. And this just gets the pan nice and warm and ready for that meat. So I'm going to turn the heat to about medium high and as always I like to time things. So unlike last week's recipe with chicken livers, we're not going to need to add oil for this recipe. Chicken livers, even though they are kind of fatty, to help prevent sticking, that's why we added the uh, oil to help, help kind of coat that pan, make it so it doesn't stick. With beef, you don't really need to do that it's already got enough fat in it that it's going to prevent sticking. Okay, so the pan has been heating for about a minute now. An old chef's trick is to put your hand over the pan and if you can kind of feel it getting hot, you know that it's hot enough. This is just something you kind of learn after years and years of cooking. So this is roughly about two pounds of beef and we're just going to plop it right into the pan. Now I'm going to wash my hands. So the beef is in the pan and it's over about medium, medium high heat and what we're going to do is called browning the meat and browning is exactly what it sounds like. We are going to cook the meat until it starts to brown. So at this point I like to kind of break up the meat and you can already hear it starting to sizzle. That's a good sound. You might notice that the outside of the meat is a different color than the end, 
and that is absolutely perfectly normal. That happens because of oxidation. And what happens is when the exterior of the meat touches air, oxygen, it uh, oxygenizes and it becomes a different color. It's kind of like when you have an avocado and you leave an avocado out, it turns brown. Now this doesn't affect the flavor, it just affects the visual look. Don't worry about it, because you, as you can see, inside is pink. So we're going to cook this for about 10 minutes. So the biggest difference between when I cook food for my dogs and when I cook food for myself or my family or friends is that I use a lot less seasoning for the dogs. Now this is absolutely a dish that you can enjoy yourself. Beef and spinach are great. If you're cooking it for yourself, you would add salt, pepper, maybe some garlic, things like that to kind of season it up. But for dogs, I like to shy away from the seasonings and keep it nice and plain. So our beef is cooking wonderfully, and at this point you might be wondering, when do you add the spinach? Well, I add the spinach when the beef is almost done. I add it around, let's say, maybe the seven or eight minute mark. It cooks really, really quick. Now, learning to brown beef is a great technique in general, whether you're cooking for your dogs or yourself. Something like this can be the wonderful basis for, let's say, a pasta bolognese sauce, or if you added taco seasoning, boom, you'd have ground beef tacos. It can serve as kind of a canvas for any number of things. So our beef has been cooking for about seven minutes now. It's still just a little bit pink, but it's getting well on its way to getting done. And again, if you're not sure if it's done and safe, use a food thermometer and make sure that it's cooked to 165 degrees. That is when the USDA says this is done. Okay, our beef has been cooking and it is almost done. Now is when I add the spinach. Now again, I'm using fresh spinach here. And if you've never used fresh spinach leaves in cooking, you can use more than you more than you think is appropriate because it really shrivels down. So here is, you know, almost a full container of spinach, and we're just going to dump it right in, right on top of that meat. And again, I know this looks like a lot, but it is going to shrivel down. I lost one to the grates. It's okay. There's always one that jumps out. So just add the leaves and let it all cook. Again, it looks like a lot, huh? It's about this time in the cooking process when my dogs start salivating, they start whining, you can kind of just feel and hear them begging because they know that an amazing meal is coming. So here we go. It's been about 10 minutes. The beef is done, the spinach is wilted, and we've just created beef and spinach for dogs. Here we go, see how much that spinach is wilted? Now you might notice there's quite a bit of grease in here. Again, this was a fattier blend of beef we were using. We were using 80-20 ground beef and there is quite a bit of fat. Now what you can do if you don't want that grease is you can just drain it and get rid of it. Now that you've made your beef and spinach for your dogs you can serve it to them any number of ways. You, As I've said you can serve it over kibble, you can serve it over wet dog food, heck maybe you can serve it to them just kind of as is as a special treat but definitely use it and blend it with something.
Now wait until it cools a bit. You don't want to serve it to them piping hot. You don't like to put really hot food in your mouth and well neither do dogs. So wait, to it, wait until it cools to about lukewarm. Now here's one way I like to serve this dish to my dogs. I had made uh, just some white rice and carrots the day before. What I've done is I've warmed that up in the microwave and now that the beef and spinach is cooled I'm just going to kind of dish it over their plates here. Look at all that great spinach. I think, uh, I think Popeye would definitely approve of this dish. And that old uh, where's the beef gal? Well, here it is. White rice, carrots, beef, and spinach. And then for a final flourish, we will just do a little drizzle of ketchup. Let's see if uh, let's see if the dogs approve of this. Parbar and Libby, are you guys hungry? Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. There you go. <coughs> yeah, I know. I know. <coughs> Come here, Parbar. Good boy. There you go, baby boy. There you go. There you go. There you go. I think he's excited. They make a mess now, but trust me, it will be cleaned up. <laughs> so that's how to make beef and spinach your best friend is going to love. And heck, maybe you too if you, I don't know, put some sauce on it, jazz it up. Thanks for watching. Uh, as you can see, we're just launching this channel, so please like, please subscribe. Give me your comments. If there's something you want to learn how to make, put it in the comments below. Let me know. Thanks for watching.